We are moving into lesson 15, which covers working with tables. Step 15.1, we will be creating a table. So the first thing we will do is go to File, New, to get a new document. Click Blank Documents twice. And Save As. Save your document and your Lesson 15 folder. We will call it Calories 1. So we will live primarily on our Insert tab for this step. Right below the Insert tab, you find your Table Group. And if you click on the arrow, you get several different options for a table. Let's move to insert a table. Notice that when I move my mouse over the grid lines, two things happen. If you notice right now, I am in the process of creating a five by five table, which means my table has five columns going across and five rows going down. Also, if you look on your screen, you see a preview of what a five by five table would look like. So right now we would like to create a three by seven table. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. So let's go back and undo. Insert table and move your mouse. Three by seven table. So three rows going across and seven rows going down. And notice three by seven. And then in order to accept your table, you simply click. And there's my table. Notice my insertion point is already inside my table. In order to move around, I will simply press my tab key on my t keyboard. So I tabbed over to the next cell. We will create a table to organize data that represents the amount of calories a person can burn by doing certain exercises. So 20 minute exercises, tab over, 40 minute exercises, and we will tab down to the next row. Now, I want to skip a row, so I'm going to simply arrow down to the next row. Notice I have a whole row that's blank. So in this cell, I will type cross country. I can't type tonight. Skiing. Tab over and you will burn 192 calories after 40 minutes 384 calories tab down Now notice when you tab it takes you down to the next row so type downhill skiing 144 calories tab 288 calories tab go down to the next row Golf, carrying clubs, tab over, 132 calories, tab, 264 calories, tab down to the next row, mountain biking, tab over, 204 calories, tab, 408 calories, tab, Weightlifting, tab over, 72 calories, tab, and 144 calories. Then notice we just organized data in a table, a 3 by 7 table, which represents 3 columns going across and 7 rows going down. We organized our data by listing our activities, how long we've worked out, the number of calories that we've burned and you just completed your first calories one table go ahead and save your updates and we've completed our first step